One of the top most prominent tech research firms is bullish on foldable phone sales in the U.S. in 2026, and they are citing Apple's long-rumored upcoming foldable phone as a major market-shifting moment. Let's dig in and see exactly what they're saying. So we've got this article pulled up here on CounterPoint Research. And we're just going to kind of go through this because I think it's very interesting. And this is something we need to kind of look at with a microscope. U.S. foldable smartphone market poised for new phase. Apple to reshape 2026 landscape. So we've got this handy graph down here, which I will explain here in just a moment. But first... The U.S. foldable smartphone market is expected to grow 68% year over year in 2025 as it enters a period of solid growth after several years of experimentation. That is big. 68% year over year growth for the folding phone market in the U.S. Now, when I read that, I immediately thought this seems familiar to me, right? We've talked about 2025 projections earlier on in the year. So I did some digging. And I found what they said, Counterpoint Research said, earlier on in the year. And it was this. This was back in March. Foldable smartphone market share to see its first decline in 2025 before robust comeback in 2026. Now, keep in mind, we are in this article talking about global smartphone shipment forecasts. So not just the United States, okay? But we know that in the United States, sales have gone up. The Z Fold 7 has done very, very well. We know that in Europe, sales have gone up with things like the Honor Magic V5. So this is interesting for a couple of reasons. One, just because they were flat out completely, totally wrong. But two, you have to ask yourself, why were they flat out colossally wrong? And I think the answer is, I think they underestimated how good the folding phones that would come out this year would be. Motorola has released several pretty darn solid folding phones that I think have done quite well, but we can go a step further on that, right? Obviously, I have my Galaxy Z Fold 7 here. We've talked about this multiple times, how strong the sales have been. It's the best-selling Z Fold that they've ever made. People have really loved this phone. And I think that those two things, primarily those two things, caused them to radically underestimate how well foldables would do in 2025. Not a decrease, but actually a rather large increase. And now if we turn our attention back to this graph, you may look at this and you may be thinking, don't they have Samsung declining? Why are they declining? Well, you got to read this a bit more closely. This is showing U.S. foldable smartphone market growth and brand share dynamics. They could label this a bit more intuitively. But my understanding of this is this is showing market share forecasts. So it's not showing raw sales numbers. It's trying to show you what the market share is. So the reason that in 2025, it looks like Samsung is going down is because Motorola has eaten into their market share. But it's a total 68% increase. So both of them are selling more foldables than before. It's just that maybe Motorola is selling more than that, basically. So they're both selling more, but Motorola is eating into their market share a little bit. So this is a story of success for both, even though it looks like a decline for Samsung. I'm pretty sure that's what we're showing here because it's the only way I can make sense of what I'm looking at. I don't know why there aren't like numbers anywhere showing you what these bars mean, but there aren't. But again, 68% increase. But then when you look at 2026, we have something interesting happening beyond the fact that Google just has a very, very small amount of market share in general. They're getting crushed by Motorola and Samsung. Look over here, we have Apple, and they think that Apple is going to step in and immediately take almost as much market share as Samsung and a little bit more than Motorola straight out of the gate. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think that's a little optimistic. Let's read what they have to say about that. The biggest structural shift is expected in late 2026 when Apple's first foldable iPhone is expected to debut. So they think this thing is coming late 2026. And yet, it's going to capture that much market share. To say they are bullish on the iPhone fold would be a massive understatement. Apple's entry would instantly expand consumer awareness and accelerate replacement demand across high-income segments. Given Apple's ecosystem influence, its launch year could dramatically reshape brand dynamics, lifting total market volumes. And that's important to note as well, because you could look at this and say, wow, 
Apple is going to jump in and they're going to, you know, drop Motorola and drop Samsung. But again, they're predicting a 51% market increase. So again, year over year, everyone is selling more folding phones than the prior year, which is a big year already. It's just that Samsung is now, or Apple, I should say, is now coming in and taking a chunk of that pie. They're basically expecting Apple's iPhone Fold to be like a, a real catalyst for the folding phone market, which is already having a banner year. They expect foldables to basically become mainstream in 2026 with Apple's entrance into this market. Samsung is going to sell more Z Folds than they did the prior year, but you're going to also have Apple selling a bunch of iPhone Folds. At least that's what they seem to be thinking. The U.S. foldable market is evolving from novelty to necessity, said Liz Lee, associate director at CounterPoint Research. While Samsung continues to lead in maturity and ecosystem strengths in 2025, Motorola's rapid expansion in the clamshell segment and Google's AI-driven approach are reshaping competition. Apple's eventual arrival in 2026 will not only expand the market, but also cement foldables as a mainstream premium smartphone format. I don't think I really disagree with any of that. Now, look, it is important to keep in mind that this is a research firm and they are kind of just looking at data and making projections, making guesses. And we can see this from March that they were just wrong. Here's sort of an updated look from September where they talk about year over year quarter two of 2025 where sales increased 45 percent. So lots of different brands sort of seen increases there. Obviously, Samsung is dropped a little bit, but that's because this phone had not launched yet. So that's a 45% year-over-year -year increase for quarter two. And that's before the Z Fold 7, which we know sold very well, had even launched. So again, this stuff can be wrong. They were wrong here. They could be wrong here. And I actually think they probably will be mostly wrong here. I can't imagine that in you know the second half, the second, or maybe the final quarter of 2026 that I, the iPhone Fold could take that much market share. If it did, that would be absolutely incredible. But nonetheless, I do think that they are probably correct in that folding phones are, like I said a couple months ago, having a little bit of a moment right now between these phenomenal phones like the Fold 7 and like the Honor Magic V5. And like there's so many great phones that are hitting the market right now in the foldable segment. And if Apple truly does move in 2026, things are only going to accelerate. Things are only going to get more competitive. And when you have more and more competition, you're going to see things like this happening where different brands are losing market share. Other brands are gaining market share, but the tides are rising for everyone and everyone is just selling more of these very premium, very expensive folding phones. But guys, that's kind of where we're at right now. That's what I think about this information coming from CounterPoint Research. I will put a link to the article in the description down below. Feel free, feel free to drop your comments and thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.